So first of all, how long have you been with Greystone? 27 years. 27 years. Mm -hmm. Almost he, came 10 years earlier. <laughs> really? Yeah, but ended up having a baby, so uh, I didn't come You had to hold time. off a little bit. That's right. Mm -hmm. So do you have any future plans of retirement? Eventually. Eventually, mm -hmm. but, just going to hang you, with it? When you have a job you love, like I love working at Greystone, you I know, understand. it's it's more mission than mm -hmm. it is a job. And uh, I've loved it since the day I walked in the door. When I walked in, I thought, man, I'm going to get paid for this. <laughs> <You know? laughs> been in a lot of other jobs that were not yeah. so tempting. So. And speaking of mission, you've been involved with the community ever since I can remember. I've been with the county for 15 years, and as soon as I came in, you were one of the first people I met. Mm -hmm. um, always involved with all the different organizations and yeah. the organization you're involved with right now you are president of partners in education mm -hmm. actually yeah that's actually I'm the chairman of the committee the, chairman the of partners in education committee okay. uh -huh. been doing that for I was trying to remember how long it may have been 15 years or so because mm -hmm. Todd Anderton was the chairman before I took over okay. and he's been gone yeah, a really gone long a time he was at the mall so yeah. I've enjoyed that because I really have a heart for education. Good. So I think I've enjoyed doing this more than anything else I've done. I love the Boys and Girls Club right. and United Way. I was with them for a long time too. And we've had both of those organizations on here actually. We had uh, right. Boys and Girls Club is our <laughs> very first episode and United Way is the episode right before your episode. Uh -huh. So right. it kind of end cap there. Yeah. So right. that's perfect. Um, mm -hmm. We'll talk more about Partners in Education in just a little bit, but first you're watching serving the kitchen with a cause and you know if you've watched the show you know that it's all about the food and it's all about the organizations and getting involved with your community so right now we're going to talk about the food right here we've got the ingredients to what we're cooking today <laughs> she has no idea what we're cooking so we call this the beach towel of deception so you have no idea what's under here i'm going to pull it off Let's okay. see what the ingredients are and you can kind of guess what, what you think we're cooking. <laughs> hmm. It's quite an array. Yes, it is. And I'll take the pressure off. Only one person has ever guessed <laughs> the, what we were cooking. Well, that's very interesting. I, you know, I would say beef stroganoff maybe if you had noodles out mm -hmm. here, but you don't have any no noodles, noodles, so can't be that. No. Uh, I think I'm going to have to guess again some more <laughs> later. It's not well, spaghetti. <laughs> I'm going to let you off the hook. Uh, so what we like to do is sort of play off the name of the organization or the actual people that are on the show. Mm -hmm. And you guys are partners in education, of course, if you abbreviate that. It's a pie. pie. Oh, it's a pie. It oh, is a it's pie. a mincemeat pie. It is a meat pie, yes. <laughs> Very good. So cool. we've got the uh, pie. We had to go that direction, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and then the second recipe is partners in edamame. Oh, that'll be fun. With chili lime sauce. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Yes, so we're going to get ready to cook the uh, meat pie for partners in education when we come back. We are set up to do our first recipe, All the right. meat pie for PIE, Partners in Education. Naturally. Uh, I've done a little preliminary work. I cut up a medium potato, boiled it, and it is ready to be mashed because it's going to go in. Mm -hmm. uh, we've also got a half a cup of uh, minced uh, onion, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do the same thing with a carrot and a stalk of celery. Mm -hmm. All right. So Sounds while good. I cut up the celery and the carrot, why don't you let us know about uh, sort of your history of involvement with some of the organizations you, you have been involved with? Oh, okay. All right. I'll be glad to. Uh, when I first came to Douglas County and uh, came to uh, Greystone in 1990, uh, my boss was Linwood James, which a lot of people will be familiar with. and. When I walked in, he said, you're going to be on the Boys and Girls Club <laughs> board. And you I got said, voluntold. Okay, yes. So uh, he left his post, and I went on the Boys and Girls Club and probably was on there for about 15 years, I believe. Uh -huh. And I was actually there when we built the new building and uh, the, uh, the gym and enjoyed that immensely, too. So many good kids have come through that Boys and Girls Club. I, I was, came through. 
Oh, you did? So there's really? proof. There's proof yes, right there. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, and there are a lot of actors, you know, too, who uh -huh. have gone through there, like Denzel Washington is mm -hmm. a real good example. And uh, so that was really an enjoyable time with the Boys and Girls Club. Steve Ford, of course, who's been the director there for Ever. as long as, yeah, as long as... <laughs> I've been involved with it, uh, so that's been at least 27 years. He is just an excellent director. And he still looks 19. Mm -hmm, he sure does. I think those kids keep him young. <laughs> yeah, he's even younger at heart, I'm yeah. pretty sure. And from there, I went to the um, United Way board and was on United Way for a long time. And uh, Jackie Bates actually was the, the head of United Way, the director back then. And, Enjoyed that, enjoyed uh, being able to help raise money for all the charitable organizations mm -hmm. that we have in the county. And uh, then from there, you know, went to Partners in Education and have been with them for, like I said, probably about 15 years. Wow. Yeah. So those have been my the, my heart, really. Yeah. Uh, of course, at Greystone, we have a, an organization, too, called the Greystone Power Foundation that raises money for Operation Roundup. And uh -huh. members voluntarily round up their electric bill to uh, help organizations. And just recently we went, we went out to the pantry and uh, did a story out there with them and that's an amazing organization. Oh yeah. A lot of charitable organizations that are helped through our members rounding up their bill for the next dollar. So okay. we appreciate them doing that. So you can round up your bill to the next dollar and that extra money goes towards the local charities? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing. So what types of organizations or businesses are involved with Partners in Education? Every type of business you can imagine. We have 500 partners right now, wow. businesses, and also civic organizations, churches, uh -huh. volunteers, you know, just community volunteers. Uh, so they work with the schools doing anything and everything, you know, from uh, going and reading with the students. Sometimes they go and read with students, students who need help students who excel and really just need somebody to spend more time with them. Um, one of the things that we did one year that's just an example is Beulah Elementary School is one of ours and they called us and said we need just a little refrigerator that we could put the kids medicine in so we oh, could yeah. keep it separate from the other the food and everything. So we did that we got them a little refrigerator and a lot of times Beulah will call us and they'll say uh, we have somebody whose house is burned down oh, or yeah. you know we have a student who has particular needs for clothes or whatever mm -hmm. and so we'll take up um, we'll take up donations from employees and take it over there to school and they are always so thankful yeah and of course they have a, a pretty large Hispanic population at Beulah too so right. from time to time our Hispanic employees will go over and, and read with the kids and, help them out in different ways. Be mentors, be mm -hmm. great examples for that's, them. That's right. Positive they, role models. They've even met with the Hispanic parents from time to time, you know, to help them uh, just kind of navigate their way right. at EULA. So we're, uh, we're partners with three different schools, one in Douglas County, one in Cobb County, and one in Paulding County right now. So we believe in partners in education all the way around, not just, uh, you know, not just in Douglas County, but right. we support education every way we can. <clears throat> That's great. I know Greystone has always been involved with the community. Uh, like I mm -hmm. said earlier, I've, I've been with the, with the county for 15 years, mm -hmm. and I mean, I noticed that right away. Greystone's yeah. name was all over everything, <laughs> not for, you know, publicity or marketing it was yeah. it was just because they were involved with the community that's right well I've heard Gary Miller say many times our CEO you know he'll say we don't do these things for any other reason except for it's the right thing to do and I like that attitude yep. you know I like that he feels that way about it of course he's been he's been a role model for all of us just being heading up United Way drives being the head mm -hmm. of United Way you know being uh, so involved in charitable organizations himself. So, yep. Yeah, it's good to have a leader who's happy and willing for you to do those Starts types of things. Starts at the top. Mm -hmm, they absolutely. make it easy for everybody else to follow. Mm -hmm, that's right. Well, we've got the sounds of the kitchen in the background. <laughs> we've got the, uh, the oven is at 425, and the beeping tells me that it's ready. Mm -hmm. uh, and what I've got going on over here is I have a pound of ground pork, pound of ground beef. Mm -hmm. I've got the uh, carrots, onions, and celery, 
sauteing over here. And the reason you don't have to do this, you could put this directly into the meat and let it cook, but I kind of like to do it separately because it will soften a little more. Oh, hmm. so, good point. Yeah, I like to do it separately mm -hmm. and uh, any of the vegetables that I'm gonna be including, I'll go ahead and cook them a little bit before I get them into the meat. Yeah. Once the meat gets browned, mm -hmm. we will pour off some of the fat. We don't want all the fat. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put our vegetables in and we'll put all of our spices in. So we'll be ready to do that in just a second. Okay, sounds great. I have got an easy job for you. Oh boy. Easy, I'm easy. Glad. <laughs> and you get to take out some frustration. Oh, okay. All right, I need you to mash the potatoes. I believe I can do that. There Thank you. you. <laughs> Perfect. Good. I remember my mother's mashed potatoes. Oh boy, she always, you know, they were always made just like this. Mm -hmm. and she loved cooking those mashed potatoes. We loved her home cooking. Yep. Yeah, I think that's that's one of the important things about having a family, you know, the 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 cooking and the eating together sort of makes you take time out. That's right. To spend time with each other. Versus, mm -hmm. you know, grabbing something on the go or, yeah. you know, everybody doing their own thing for meals. Yeah, people do too much of that. And yeah. then there's too much talking on the telephone yeah. around the table, too. <laughs> if we could ban the phones from yeah. the dinner table, it would probably oh, yeah. be a real good thing. That's definitely one of our rules. Yeah. No electronics. If you can just get the kids to sit down, like you say, yep. you know, every evening and time together, that's so important. One of our other rules with, with my 12 year old boy is it doesn't matter how fast you eat, you're not leaving the table until everybody's done. Oh, that's good. Because he tried that. <laughs> eat real fast. Can I get down? Nope. <laughs> yeah, that's family time that people need to have together in this fast moving world, I'll tell you. And that, you know, that kind of speaks to uh, why Partners in Education works. Right. Is spending time and spending, you know, the, the, the attention to let know, let the, the kids know that you care. Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. they may not get that at home. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's got it. I think we're good there. That's good. We're almost ready to add to our uh, meat here. It's browning up nicely. As soon as it's brown, we'll add the vegetables, add the potatoes, add the spices, and we'll be ready to move on to the second step of this, which is putting everything into the pie crust. Mm -hmm. This recipe actually only called for the onion. But I was like, hey, let's that's sneak a, some more vegetables in there. That's a good so idea. Put the carrots and the, and the celery. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to get the potatoes in there. So if you want to scrape the potatoes into okay. here. This is like uh, shepherd's pie. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Awesome. These one skillet meals are a good thing yeah. for parents. Yep. Families. Okay, and now we're gonna be we're gonna start seasoning. So if you will find the mustard powder, we need a half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon. Okay, that's a half. We don't have to be completely scientific about it. We can Oops. go over or under. Okay. You ready for it? Yep. Okay. And then we need a half a teaspoon of dried thyme. You have them right in order. Very good. <laughs> and we also need some water. Uh, let's see, we need a quarter cup of water. So as you're doing that, I'm gonna grab a couple, quarter cup of water. Okay. That'll help stir in all this. Oh, that smells good. You can smell those spices already. 
Then we need a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. Ooh, that does smell good. Mm -hmm. All right, the cloves are in. Uh, we need a pinch of salt, a little black pepper. Pinch of the salt is some. actually in here. Oh, okay. How much black pepper? Just a little shake in here. Okay. Perfect. Good. Okay. Good. And a pinch of salt. Oh, you said it was in here. Oops. A lot of seasoning goes into this. Mm -hmm. What kind of salt is this? Kosher. Kosher. Okay. Pinch of salt. Okay. And then we need some sage. We need a quarter teaspoon of dried sage. That will finish off the seasoning. I'm gonna turn the heat off because we've got everything we need in here except for that. And okay. um, we will be putting it into the pie crust very shortly. I should have opened Finger that Fingernails are not working right. <laughs> <Here, laughs> I got it. it. Oh, you got it? Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna it. do it the dangerous way and just use the huge knife. <laughs> And how much of this do we put? A quarter teaspoon. Quarter teaspoon. One thing is if you have all the tools out here to use it all conveniently like you've got yes. it, it really makes a big difference. Yes, it does. All right, we've got refrigerated pie crust. You could make it from scratch, obviously, but um, for our purpose, we don't necessarily want to spend that time. Mm -hmm. Because this is a one pot meal, you you know, probably want to save some time by using the refrigerated pie crust. One of the things we've talked about in the past is uh, anytime we're, we're, we have organizations on that have children involved with them, uh, getting them involved in the cooking process is always a good thing. You know, not only just spending the time, but the math involved with measuring and mm -hmm. that type of thing is, uh, can't do anything but help. Mm -hmm. All right, this is trying to, this is trying to make me look bad on camera. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get mean with it. <laughs> trying to upstage me. <laughs> get on out of there. There we go. All right. So we've got a pie bowl here, whatever you call it. I'm not a big baker, but uh, we're gonna take one of the pie crusts and fold it out, un unfold it, and put it into the bottom here. And if you get any tears or holes, you can sort of piece it back together with no problem. on the edge if I can. Makes it a whole lot easier doing it that way with the refrigerated one. Yeah. We're gonna pretend like there's not any holes in here. All right. So we got that down. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to pour this in here, or do you want sure. me to do that? I'll be glad to. All right. It's kind of heavy. Okay. I think you're going to have to do that. <laughs> here, I'll hold it, and you can you can I scrape it out. I think that would out. be better. Yeah. Teamwork. Uh huh. Too much lifting weights at Gold's yeah. Gym last night on <laughs> that elbow. <laughs> A little sore. Uh huh. Awesome. Discovered that weight class. Wonderful. That good for your bones. Good. Looks wonderful. Okay, dokie. All right. Okay, we're gonna do this. Then we've got the other pie crust. Again, our oven is waiting for us at 425. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make this for sure. Yeah. 
My husband might even eat a carrot <laughs> if he was like that. You can trick him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he was raised on a farm you know, uh -huh. and uh, lived there till he went off to college and won't eat a vegetable. Good grief. Mm. Meat and potatoes, man. Well, yeah. he will eat potatoes. So this is going to cook for about 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. We'll put all this together, kind of crimp the edges. And one thing you always want to do when you're doing a pie crust like this is uh, pierce um, a couple ni knife slits in the middle so that the steam can escape. Mm -hmm. It seems to be going together pretty well. Mm -hmm. Pull off some of the some of the slack around the edges. Again. All right, we're almost ready for the oven. How's it look? That's what do you beautiful. Think? Absolutely beautiful. All right, we're going to put it in for 25 minutes and see what we come out with. All right. All right, we've got our partners in edamame cooking over here. <laughs> we've got frozen edamame. It is in uh, <gasps> almost boiling water. It's almost up to a boil. It'll boil for about five minutes. Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to do after it finishes is we're going to put it in a mixture of, if I can get this started, we're going to put it in uh, sort of a, a marinade of olive oil, red pepper flakes, and garlic. So this mm. should be really good. Sounds really good. All right, so first step, put some olive oil in there. Mm -hmm. Second step is something I don't really like, which is cutting up garlic. Mm, oh, I didn't like that. I'll handle the garlic. <laughs> and uh, if you would, tell us a little more about Partners in Education, uh, like specific examples of, of the types of things that they do, mm -hmm. and also who can get involved as a partner in, in education. Okay, wonderful. Um, I think one of our biggest uh, partners is Chick-fil-A. And they do so many things where they will bring food, of course, which is their specialty, right. to help people out. Um, we have uh, a company that does um, trophies and things like that, and she goes over and gives people schools discounts on things like that, so it can help them when they're doing their their trophies. Uh -huh. We have a partner who, uh, on the uh, teachers' birthdays, will put flowers on their desk. Oh, Just that's one cool. flower. Yeah, that's really nice. So people think about the teachers as well as the students. And of course, what it's all about is just making sure that the students will be successful. Right. And uh, so anybody can be a partner. Anybody can do anything that they would like to do. And we try to get the schools and the partners to collaborate at the beginning of the year uh -huh. at a kickoff session that we do uh, and just talk about what are some of the things that the schools would like them to do and what are some of the things that the partners would like to do. Mm -hmm. Hopefully those things will meet together and work out well for both of them. Right. Um, like I say, anybody can be a partner, any business, any church. We've had a lot of churches join us lately. Um, any um, community volunteer who just volunteers on their own, they can do that. Okay. And so just individuals. Unlimited, yeah. And okay. it's, it's just unlimited. And all you need to do is just call Karen Stroud at the Douglas County School System. She's over the Partners in Education program. I even know her number if you'd like me to yes, get it. Yes, absolutely. Okay, it's 770-651-2035. And she would love to talk with anybody who would be interested in doing that because it's so important to help our kids. So mm -hmm. important to help them be successful. Always keep looking them in for school. always looking for more people in partners education. Mm -hmm. I'm sure. Absolutely. How many people did you? How many entities? Five hundred partnerships. Five hundred partnerships. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. So, very proud of that. That number's really grown over the years. Mm -hmm. So really happy that we have so many participating. Mm -hmm. Also, they can do things like go and proctor for tests. We know oh, okay. how important that is yeah, these yeah, days. Yeah. Uh, judge science fairs. Uh -huh. um, a lot of times they'll call us and uh, somebody from Greystone will go over and proctor for tests or uh, judge science fairs, things like that. Yeah, so, I know they're always looking for proctors. Yeah, so it's just unlimited what you can do. You can give a financial 
contribution mm -hmm. if you want to, and, and the time and effort is just as important. Right. So if you can't give money, you know, or uh, you can sure help out and give time because the schools need people who have the time to help out. Yeah, I know they're always looking for volunteers, everything mm -hmm. from uh, field days to fall mm -hmm. festivals to, you know, anything. Um, and it sounds like you guys encourage uh, creative thinking when that's it comes right. to partners in education. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a partner could come up with something that the school hadn't even thought of, mm -hmm. you know. So uh, it's a great partnership between the, awesome. all of them. And uh, I'm so thankful for every one of them. Well, hopefully this show will get some more partners in education. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drain these real quick. Edamame has just really become popular it over has. the last few years, hasn't it? It definitely has. Yeah. We're going to add those in. Ooh, that smells really good. It sure does. Now we've also got some lime that's going to go in here. So I'm going to cut this in half and squeeze it in there. Try not to get any seeds in. about a half a lime and that is about done we'll just heat it through and uh, let's see we got about 10 minutes on the pie and we'll be ready to eat you ready to eat I'm, I'm about ready I am ready to eat. <laughs> past ready yes when we come back we're gonna serve it up okay. see you in a sec Again, this is my favorite part of the show. Mine too. We get to taste. <laughs> this just came out of the oven, the pie, and it looks fantastic. It sure does. I mean, I hope the inside looks as good and tastes as good as the outside looks. Mm -hmm. We're gonna wait just a second, so because I want you to uh, tell us again who qualifies to be in Partners in Education, and, and if okay. someone who's watching wants to be a partner, how do they get involved? Okay. Anyone really can participate. If you're a volunteer, if you have some time to volunteer, we'd love to have you. Any business can participate. Any, um, anyone really in the community. So this is really a partnership of the community and the schools. So just, I would say, call Karen Stroud, like I say, 770-651-2035, and talk with her about it, and she can get you hooked up with a school that really needs partners and uh, somebody that you would like to work with, maybe who's close by to you. We also have partners for the uh, central office. Okay. So it might, or it might be a, a system-wide uh, partnership that you might mm -hmm. want to do. Or you can just do one school, you know, what, make it easy for you. And, and I can tell you it will be a lot of fun and you'll really feel like you're really doing something for the community and for our future because uh, absolutely our children are our future mm -hmm. and we want to do all we can to make them successful in school. So that's what Partners in Education is all about. So come join us. We have the kickoff uh, usually at the end of summer. We have a winter workshop usually in December, I believe, or January. And then at the end of the year in May, we'll be having our celebration event where we give out certificates mm -hmm. and thank our partners for what they've done. So the next one you could come to, if you'd like to come, would be the one at the end of the year. And it's actually at Greystone, have wonderful breakfast. And we also have things we call pie and coffee, uh -huh. where we go out to different businesses and we invite people to come to that. So I'd say watch the, uh, watch the website for, uh, for the school system. And there's also a Facebook for Partners in Education too. So we'd love to have as many people as we can. I know that Superintendent North really uh, loves the program and wants to get as many partners as he can working with us to help our students. Yeah, and if you've got a creative idea, yes. definitely do it. Mm -hmm. Get involved, call Karen Stroud. So now we get to taste. We've got yes. the edamame. Uh, sitting here on the plates ready for us. We've got this amazing meat pie. I've heated up some beef gravy in case we want to top it with that. Mm -hmm. So here we go. Slice in and see how it turned out. This could be good or it could be difficult. Hopefully it's going to be good. <laughs> First piece is always the hardest. Definitely a flaky crust. Mm -hmm. 
All right, coming oh, over to you. Oh, that is beautiful. Wow. Couldn't be prettier. Yeah. Smells good. Can't wait. Definitely gets a little uh, clumsy here, <laughs> but that's okay. It, like we said, it's kind of like shepherd's pie, which falls apart anyway. Mm -hmm. Would you like some beef gravy? I'll I know take, I do want Yes, some. I will take just a little. That'll be good. Your piece looks much better than mine. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go for the edamame first. Now, edamame, the outside is kind of tough and chewy. You can't eat mm -hmm. it. But a lot of people, what they'll do is just squeeze and get the, uh, the pee out. Oh. I'll have to try that. And the flavor of all the garlic and the and the pe red pepper flakes and lime oh, definitely seeps in that is wonderful yeah mm. Mm -hmm. that's a winner right there mm -hmm. very good i can see where the outside <laughs> it's yeah. a little difficult to eat <laughs> it's fibrous definitely mm -hmm. so the edamame is a mm -hmm. winner wonderful partners mm -hmm. in edamame mm -hmm. in chili lime mm. Love that chili, Mom. All right, now we go in for the pie. Mm -hmm. Get some of that flaky crust, some of the meat. Again, it's pork and beef, and some good vegetables. Mm. That's a winner, Wonderful. too. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's a meal right there. Mm hmm. And that sage and thyme kind of makes it taste a little like Thanksgiving. Mm hmm. That's delicious. Mm, and I like the lot. vegetables being in there. Mm hmm. Get the kids to get their vegetables. Mm hmm. That is delicious. The vegetables Lots. aren't. Mm. The vegetables aren't too soft. You still get a little bite from the vegetables. Mm hmm. And you can add in whatever you want. I mean, literally, you put your favorite vegetables in there. Uh, you could use pork, beef ground turkey, <clears throat> whatever you want. Mm -hmm. You could even put some of the gravy in there before you cook it. Oh, that might mm -hmm. be pretty good as mm -hmm. well. That gravy's good. So these are winners. We got Thank two you. great recipes. We got the pie for partners in education, the meat pie, and we got the partners in edamame with chili lime. Vicki, thank you so much for coming so by and, and cooking with us and tell us all about Partners in Education. Thank you. Well, I learned a lot. I'm going to try this out at home. <laughs> good, thank good. you, TJ. <laughs> well, I learned a lot. She learned a lot. We hope you learned a lot. And we hope you get involved because this is Serving's Kitchen with a Cause. That's what it's all about. And we'll see you next month.